Modern day hyenas are some of the most well known predators that inhabit the continent of Africa, and with their powerful jaws and strange vocalisations, they are surely some of the strangest. But only 10,000 years ago, a subspecies of the still living spotted hyena lived throughout Eurasia and were likely just as formidable. These animals were the cave hyenas, or Crocuta crocuta spilea. The biology of these animals indicates that these hyenas were specialised animals, weighing a considerable amount more than their African counterparts, with the largest animals weighing around 103 kilograms and overall being more powerfully built than any modern hyenas. Because of their larger overall size, these hyenas would not have been as good at running as today's hyenas, but with their larger size, they would have been better able to drag away animal carcasses for later consumption as well as posing more of a challenge to the other predators in the regions that they lived in. Fossilised remains of these animals have been found within many different caves across Eurasia, from Siberia in the east to the Iberian Peninsula, with the remains of other animals most being partially eaten, indicating that hyenas dragged their prey into caves for consumption. Living in caves would have also provided protection for young, as well as a safe environment for casual gnawing. Some caves that the hyenas inhabited were also used by cave bears for hibernation, which show evidence of being scavenged upon by hyenas after their deaths. Because of their habit of bringing their prey into caves, a great deal was known about the diversity of animals that these hyenas preyed on. The most common prey of these animals appear to be Perzevalski's horses and woolly rhinoceroses, although it is evidence that they also fed on a variety of other organisms, including steppe bison, deer, ibex, and even other carnivores, such as wolves and Eurasian cave lions, as well as members of their own kind, as evident from bones of hyenas being cracked and chewed, a behaviour that is also practised by the spotted hyena. But it's not just discoveries of the long since eaten meals of these animals that give us insight into the hyenas, as they have been depicted in rock art and even sculptures made of mammoth ivory. A painting in the Upper Paleolithic rocks of Chalvert Cave in France features a cave hyena, as indicated by the outline of the illustrated animal, and is depicted with spots, indicating they did have a similar appearance to the modern spotted hyena. The relative scarcity of hyena depictions in rock art, and considering the large range of which they were spread over, a lack of these animals appears odd. This has led to a suggestion in a paper evaluating the rock art of these animals, in that they were lower in the ranks of an animal worship hierarchy, in that they were not viewed as valuable prey, like mammoths or woolly rhinos, nor as formidable rivals, like bears or lions. But that's not to say there was no interaction between humans and hyenas at all, as a hyena ulna found in Spain shows evidence of butchery from stone tools, indicating that humans would have eaten hyenas if they had the chance. Additionally, kills partially consumed by Neanderthals and then by cave hyenas indicates that hyenas would occasionally steal from them, as well as competing for cave sites, as many caves show alternating occupations by hyenas and Neanderthals over time. More fossil evidence also suggests that Neanderthals were eaten by cave hyenas, either hunted out in the open or caught while sleeping in a cave that was raided in the night. These animals would have been among the most common predators living across Eurasia, terrorising the local populations of animals and humans alike. However, as powerful and dangerous cave hyenas would have been, they still went extinct, likely down to climatic changes. In most parts of the hyenas' habitats, the open grasslands began to decline, being replaced by forests, leading to them being outcompeted in these regions by wolves and humans, which were negligibly affected by the change. This also led to a decline in prey species, in a particular the woolly rhinoceros and horses, and due to their larger size, could not keep up with the smaller, more manoeuvrable animals that were now more common, as well as requiring more energy to survive. And with that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time, whenever that may be.